Hi everyone. I don't know if you can see, but a little drying sweat, leftover sweat from just returning from the backyard where I have prepped for, I can't even believe I'm saying this, the second hurricane in what, a week, 10 days in a place in Florida that the Indian lore says we never get hit by hurricanes. Of course, at the rate that global warming is heating up the climate, the climate and, and the planet, of course, uh, the Gulf of Mexico is at historic hot temperatures and that is what is fueling these storms. But as I speak now, we are two days away from possibly a Cat 3 that hasn't hit this part of Florida in 100 years. It might arrive on Tuesday through Wednesday and everybody is in hurricane preparation mode. Now I'll tell you, where I live is a community of block homes, which is the best home to have to fight and survive these storms. Um, but of course, some of these strong, stronger storms, you don't know what's gonna happen. And, and the weather reports have been saying we're gonna get tornadoes with this one, more so than we did with the last one. And so being a Midwest girl, I kind of have laughed at the tornadoes that I've seen here in Florida, mainly never above um, the uh, scale of one, which is um, back in the Midwest in St. Louis, where I grew up, we had anywhere from three to five in terms of the ranking of the intensity of the storm. So here, you know, water spouts when they're over water, and then when they move on land, they become tornadoes. But in the case of hurricanes, they often spawn tornadoes once they move on shore. So they can be pretty destructive in, in those situations. So we are stressing over all that. My neighbors, uh, I've talked to a number of them. Only one is boarding up a few windows. Our house does not have hurricane rated windows or doors or garages, all of which I had when I lived out on Anna, Anna Maria Island, which just got hit by the recent hurricane. And when I lived out there about 15 years ago, we definitely had hurricane rated windows. And from the videos I've seen, my house, the one I lived in, didn't survive very well. And um, Pumpkin is wrapping himself around my legs right now. I think that the animals definitely sense that the, the change in air pressure, even though it is still pretty far away, um, they still sense that, that things are changing. And of course, we've got this big blob of rain ahead of the storm, and we have all kinds of flood warnings now. But the stress of dealing with two hurricanes, I did a 5K race yesterday. We had a beautiful day yesterday, and that may be the only day of the week that we get. I got first place in my age group, the 307th time that I've placed in my age group since 2006, just on plants, just to show people that you don't need animal protein to do all of this running. And the United Nations continues to say that Eliminating animal agriculture, reducing animal agriculture can be the best thing we can do to reduce our carbon footprint. So I hope you like this background because this may be the last time you see it. I don't mean to be a pessimist and I try and think positively, especially as we go through these times, but where I am right now is actually, you can see a glass sliding door right there and another one over here. Where I have my office is in the enclosed lanai of our home. So what is surrounding me in front of the camera is what baby doll? Oh, what? What are you crying right about? Oh, yes, Bucky. So what surrounds me is um, is is uh, glass and beautiful windows, but they're not hurricane rated. They're actually pretty flimsy uh, as they go, but lovely to open when the, the lovely breeze is out here and the weather is, is nice, um, which is about, I don't know, 95% of the time, especially compared to the Midwest. So we always say this is the price we pay to live in paradise, but it definitely has its drawbacks. And as a realtor, I have to wonder, like, after all these storms, who's going to move to Florida? And those who want to get out, and there will be plenty. First of all, it's going to take months, if not years, to rebuild the houses and the communities where they live. Uh, yesterday at the race, I heard so many stories of people whose cars were wiped out, their homes were wiped out, um, five to six uh, inches or more of water in their home just destroys, it has the potential to destroy everything. So the one thing I've done, and I encourage you to do this if you haven't, is digitize your photos, anything that's sentimental, take a picture of it. Because if we get just one blowing branch from the many oak trees that surround me, uh, we're done here. So the other issue that becomes problematic without power, of course, is mold. And this room is not air conditioned, so it won't be a place that I will be spending any time uh, if the storm does come, as it is projected pretty much right up our driveway. Now, this has happened before, but and you just have to take these forecasts, as they like to say, with the cone of uncertainty. So it could technically hit anywhere. But the center of the cone is dead on Tampa, and Sarasota is about 60 minutes to the south of Tampa, which got hard hit the last time as we all did in different ways, especially along the coastline. Uh, as I've mentioned, I think in other videos, I am six miles inland from Sarasota Bay. That's the first big body of water and then another mile to the Gulf of Mexico. And as a Cat 3, um, I just can't even imagine. I've always said that I would evacuate if, if there were predictions that were anything like a, a Cat 2 or above. But the problem is, where do you go? <laughs> I have friends and evacuated in Latin previous hurricanes to the Gulf, uh, to Asheville, North Carolina, and that's been destroyed. So I have friends who are evacuating to Atlanta that got hit pretty hard with the last hurricane. So for many of us, we just choose to stay put and hope for the best. 
So just wanted to update you. Hope you were doing well. Let me know if you are in a hurricane zone, how you have fared previously, and what your thoughts are for evacuating for this one, which in, it seems to be a, a doozy. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching, and we'll hopefully see you in the next one. Gotta run.